a different experience, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's more joy, you know, because you, you're there with people who you go through the ups and downs with, you know what I mean? You're living with these people every day, and it's like, you know that you come and fulfill your purpose, it's just a great feeling. You know, and doing it together, cause it's really a unity, you know, it's we come together as one. It's not just about me, cause I couldn't do it without them, you know what I mean? Um, this point about touring with the old band is, um, is an important um, um, issue for the, for all the young artists, Jamaican artists who want to come back and go tour with old band and produce yeah. with the in Asia, you, your better artists, yeah. Um, what do you think is, uh, you deliver a better show in that way or better feelings? Um, Definitely. It's a better show because, you know, when I formed the band, the Beverly Rockers, I wanted to wait one year with just rehearsing before we touch the road. But, you know, due to the demand and, and the fact that music is a thing that you have to stay current, we end up having to come on the road earlier than that one year. So this band has been formed from last November. So it's not even one year yet. You know what I mean? And we get to play music together, work on the finer details in a set. You know what I mean? So you can really put together a package of music, not just a few songs and an HI. One job mix, you know, you know what I mean? It's a different kind of vibe. It's a different thing. You can work with little ideas and you know what I mean? Make yourself interesting, and that's what you get when you work with your own band. Do you work with that band also in studio for your uh, production? Yes, yes, recently I just started to do that. You know, before it used to be just me alone in the studio. You know what I mean? I would sample music, and I used to try a little thing on the keyboard, and but now I can call Shane and I'd say, oh, Shane, play some keys for me. Yeah, yeah. Play a bubble for me, I play a bang, or prison, I need a bass line for me. And them man here is some genius, you know what I mean? So I don't even need to tell them to do anything, and just do it. You know, it's a great feeling. Nice, I already had my interview with him. So once I give you the opportunity to wow. do some questions. Anyone? Yes, no questions. All right, we got it. Yes, Amanda, I want to ask you something about your past, yeah. present, and future. So, uh, what were your influences at first? What we want? Uh, influences on okay. reggae, your present, and your future plans. So, influences for reggae music. My first stop is it with his imperial majesty, first of all. You know what I mean? It's like every, his life, his actions, you know, his principles is what spawned this culture of conscious reggae music, which is what, you know, I really deal with. What I mean? Introducing well, we got to be in any building. and Grizzel. He's a great power. Oh, 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 oh. Up, yes. Up, up. This is my family, you know what I mean? And it's a joy for there. It's a joy for there with them once. Yeah. Nice. You know, so musically we influenced by a lot of things. We influenced by producers. You know, Fatis Burrell, yeah. a major influence. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sly and Rabbi, of course. You know what I mean? When you talk about drum and bass, you know, when you talk about that song where we, we, a lot of us try to recreate now is that song. You know what I mean? That same song you heard with Black Uru and I need Kamozi and all of them ones from them time that till now. So, you know, we're influenced by that. Me personally, spiritually, musically, Sisla Kalonji. You know, it begins and ends right there for me, you know what I mean? I'm an artist, I'm an influence, and it's why you see me. Not your man, you don't say Rastafari. You know what I mean? So, them man, they heavily influence the lyricism. You know, my music is lyrical. So, Sisla Kalonji lyricism was on another level. You know what I mean? So, give thanks to them artists. The Uju Bantan, of course, another lyricist, another prominent voice. I will say free Uju Sotsky. You know what I mean? Yeah, what do you want influence? I will say present and future. Yes, please. Present in terms of what I'm going on in the present, or my influence is present. How do you feel about this revival movement 
in his presence and the efforts in Europe and all around the world. Well, you see the thing is, you know, we as artists, it, it, you put me in a funny place when you ask me to talk about the reggae revival. Because I feel this term is really something that, you know, is important to the people who listen to reggae music more than the important to the artists there. Because what we are doing is just putting our inspiration into music. And the older we do it at a time when we inspire to put out some music where it's late, you know? You can see the, the coincidences within the music. You know what I mean? You can see the messages, you can see the content, you can see the lyricism. You know, some might say that we are blessed to be in this time. Just like when Sizzler them did a rise up. You know what I mean? Luciano, Garnet, later on, Sizzler, Cableton, Narisman, Jack York. You know what I mean? It's just a blessed time when them ones they rise up together. So when you see we in our know, chat together, Jesse Raya, Granix, Protege, Michael Shemaya, everybody, it's just. We just live in the inspiration at the time. You know, the revival is what the people see and notice. And we give thanks for that. We feel honored to know, say, you know, people feel an energy resurging that they felt maybe. Some say they never feel it from the 70s with Bob and Peter and Jacob Miller and Bonnie and everybody. Some say they never feel it since them time. Yeah. You know, some people say when I win and Bosco makes them did a rise up and then they feel have an energy that time too. You know what I mean? So it's just it's just different things, you know. But we just know say unity in the movement is not something where it's planned or arranged. We don't pick a side and say, oh, this is the revival team or a squad and say, oh. I just know and say, yo, protege, I'm a bridging. Simple as that. The man, they see me doing music and say, yo, Kabaka, forward up on my place. I want you to work on some music with me. And I want to help you put out some music. So I go up at the man place and I make some music. And a few months later, you see the Rebel Music EP. And that's 2011. And you find out, say, my voice found some rhythm where protege give me. And then him say it's two youth named Kranix and Teflon build the rhythm where I never know them man. Eh? And then me have a birthday party, I get together up at Protege Yard, April 2011, and I meet Kranix and Teflon. And Teflon mother is there too. You know what I mean? And I just feel like them man is my family. You know? It's just like one energy, one. I, I see them man there and I see myself. I see two men in the studio building some rhythm together. You know what I mean? Just a sheer energy and some you would say, don't like what go on in the system and don't like the poverty and the starvation and them things there. And then it's not you to in the, the hype. You know what I mean? And it's not, we just don't feel like say we need to go party out in life and drink a bag of Hennessy and all them things there. I might drink a little red wine and all that energy. You know, nothing around with that, right? Anyway, we give thanks, but it's just, it just so happens that it happened in this time. But who am I to say that, you know, it is because of us. It's because of the most high. You know what I mean? It's just the inspiration. Energy is flow, it's just an energy. It's not something tangible. It's just an energy, and you see the manifestations everywhere you go. Everybody in this room have a part to play in you know, this movement. That's why we sing it in the song name, the revival. Everybody has a part to play. It's not just about the shows. It's about what we're going to do when we hear Kabaka Pyramid lyrics. Are we going to go and plant up some food in our backyard? and try and make sure say, our food is organic and healthy for our structure? Are we going to go and volunteer at a youth group and help some youths? Are we going to build a library for some youths in a cassava piece? Are we going to do those things, you know what I mean? 
That's what it's really about. It's about what do you do after you watch a performance? What do you do after you listen to this music? When you listen to Bob Marley music and him say, we free from the chains, what are you going to do? Do you just do it to feel the vibes? <laughs> and just feel happy and high? You know? It's the same thing, it's the same thing with even Ganja. Are we doing it just to get high? Or are we doing it because Herb is the healing of the nation? Because we can heal people with this thing. And we can make clothes, and we can make shoes, and we can make all of them things. You know what I mean? This is why we do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know what else to say. I'm kind of long-winded, you know. So if you have a time restraint, you have to, go, you have to be the moderator, you know. I was just inspired by your words, so I was listening like the audience to clear the answer.